This is my latest locomotive model in Lego. It's uh, again in 148 scale, approximately O gauge. It uh, is my own creation. Uh, it's a model of a first gen uh, gas turbine electric locomotive, GTEL as uh, they were known. And uh, this locomotive had uh, eight powered axles. Uh, two in each uh, two-axle truck, and there were four two-axle trucks. Uh, the trucks at the ends were uh, supported on a span bolster. Uh, the span bolster also included the uh, coupler pocket and the locomotive end plate, so uh, because of the long length of these locomotives, uh, they were 83 feet long. Uh, this model is uh, scaled uh, to match that length. Uh, all axles are powered in this locomotive. Uh, you will note I created my own uh, 3D printed windshield. Uh, I just don't care for the uh, brick built uh, windshields on these uh, streamlined cabs. Uh, I just don't think they look good so uh, I've elected to create my own uh, uh, 3D printed windshield uh, painted to uh, match as best I could to the Lego yellow. Uh, the locomotive has uh, got removable roofs and it's powered by uh, four 18 650 batteries in a uh, battery holder that uh, is easily removed. There's a power switch and the actual electronics powering the locomotive consists of an air wire uh, wireless DCC system and that drives a Tsunami 2 um, control board which uh, creates the sounds and actually drives the motors. Uh, this is the remote control for the air wire system. So I'll turn it on first and then turn on the power switch and you can already hear the uh, locomotive. It'll go through a startup routine. Um, these locomotives had a small diesel generator. That diesel generator was used to start the gas turbine. The, um, the Tsunami 2 has uh, the complete uh, gas turbine sounds. Uh, these locomotives were known as big blows for the uh, sound they created. Uh, I'll start up the gas turbine now. You can hear it crank. There it goes. Didn't fire off the first time. So basically these are jet engines in a locomotive car body driving a generator which drives the traction motors. I believe there are actually two generators to uh, handle the power output of the gas turbine. These were rated at 4,500 horsepower, which in uh, 1952, when it was delivered, was uh, the most powerful locomotive of its time with a uh, fossil fuel powered engine. Uh, the locomotive has uh, working headlights and uh, also uh, a working Mars light. Uh, the headlight's directional, so uh, if I change the direction, the uh, rear headlight lights. Um, so, uh, with four powered trucks, eight powered axles, uh, this locomotive is uh, able to pull a very heavy train.
Of course, on the tight curves, uh, it's on R56 curves right there. Uh, there's still a lot of swing out uh, uh, because of the location of the truck centers. The locomotive is capable of negotiating standard LEGO R40 curves, however, it's not pretty. <laughs> uh, this time we'll switch over to the outer loop, which will take it up the grade. With all the containers and relatively heavy box cars, it's, it's a big load on the engine, but uh, it is capable of uh, making it up the grade. If I try to put a longer train on it, the magnetic couplers uh, will pull apart. So I have to limit the length of the train really based on the capability of the couplers. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it.